hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in the second video of joint products and byproduct chapter we are going to start with the new method or the second method you can say average unit cost method and we are also going to solve a practical problem on this but before watching this video please make sure you have watched the previous video of this chapter where we have discussed the entire concept of the chapter and we have seen what we have to study over here what is the objective over here apportionment of joint cost and taking the decision whether we have to further process or not and then treatment of byproducts these are the three main things about this chapter that you have to understand properly and then we saw the different methods that we have to apportion the joint cost to the joint products yeah so many method but don't worry it's really simple we started with the first method that is physical unit method and we also solved a practical problem on this yeah first illustration from the ICI study material clear easy and what we had to do over here simple in this physical unit method all we had to do was just take out the output ratio okay whatever output that has come out yeah just take the ratio of that and in that ratio just apportion the joint cost that's all we did right and you know apportionment of joint cost is done to the joint products that's all now in this video as i said we are going to cover this method that is average unit cost method it's really simple method okay let's understand this now see here average unit cost method under this method joint cost is apportioned on the basis of average cost per unit what does that mean we did not understand anything see it's really simple what you have to do over here is in this method you just have to calculate simple average unit cost okay you have to take the total joint cost what is joint cost the cost that has been incurred in combination in that common process yeah so for example let's just say the joint cost is 20 lakhs now there is also one more name to joint cost what is that pre separation cost pre split off cost because see joint cost is the cost that is incurred in this common process yeah to process the raw material so this happens before the split off yeah so that is why it is also known as pre separation cost and then we also have post separation cost what is that further processing cost because see after separation point after split off point whatever cost you are incurring that is what further processing cost and it is also known as post separation cost is that clear easy fine and you all know that we know further processing cost separately we don't have any tension about that but the main question the main problem is here joint cost which is in combination and we don't know how much has been incurred for each of the products so on some basis we have to a portion that you all know that right we have seen the previous method also physical unit method now here they are saying that this joint cost is there now you have to apportion this distribute this on the basis of average unit cost is that clear how will you calculate the simple average unit cost easy you will take the total joint cost okay joint cost 20 lakhs for example and you will divide it by the total units total output at the split off point total output at the split off point for example let's just say uh, you know we have produced product a 100 product b 100 product c let's just say 200 so 400 so 20 lakhs divided by 400 that's what you have to do okay simple and then what you will get you will get a simple cost per unit yeah cost per unit you will get and that cost per unit you will use and multiply with the output of the products let's just say for example how much did we say uh, 20 lakhs right 20 lakhs divided by 400 okay so we got 5000 as our cost per unit now this 5000 you will multiply with the number of units of product a let's just say 100 we said 100 now so into 100 so that's equal to uh, 5 lakhs so 5 lakh to product a 5 lakh to product b fine and then here 200 uh, units of product c was produced so you know uh, 5000 that is the cost per unit average cost per unit into i said product c how much what was the output 200 quantity so that's equal to 10 lakh so 10 lakh cost has been allocated to product c you understood it's really simple what did i do i took the joint cost divided by the total number of units at the split off point i got 5000 as the cost per unit and that 5000 i used and multiplied with all the products yeah the the, the units of the products yeah 100 into 5000 100 into 5000 here 200 into 5000 yeah so the cost this joint cost of 20 like has been apportioned has been distributed to these products that's what you have to do really simple and straightforward okay 
Easy, right? It's not difficult. It's really simple. Fine. And see here, the effect of application of this method is that all join products will have uniform cost per unit, isn't it? Just now you saw, just now you saw, when I did that, 20 lakhs divided by 400 units, what did I get? 5,000. That was the cost per unit. And it is uniform, it is same for all the products, isn't it? You did 100 into 5,000, 100 into 5,000, 200 into 5,000. So cost per unit is 5,000 for all the products. The effect of application of this method is that all joint products will have uniform cost per unit. Okay. So this method is applied where the units produced are of the standard quality. Yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Because see, cost per unit is same now. So the assumption is that the assumption is that the products are of standard quality. Yeah. And they are measurable in the same uh, units. Okay. Same units. And the units are of the same nature. Yeah. Is that clear? Easy. Now the defect is same like of the physical unit method because here also the there is a need that all the products have to be almost similar standard quality. So these are actually defects also. This method cannot be used when the units are not comparable. If the units are different, for example, let's just say you have got one product in liters and one product in kilograms, then this method will not work. Okay. It has to be of the same nature. Is that clear? So this was the average unit cost method. Now let's see a problem of this. Really simple problem. Let's take illustration two from the ICI study material. Okay. So see here, see here, find out the cost of joint products A, B and C using average unit cost method from the following data. Pre-separation joint cost 60,000. I told you now, joint cost has two names, joint cost and pre-separation cost. Is that clear? They have given that together. Don't worry. Okay, pre-separation joint cost 60,000, fine. Production data, products A, B, C. Unit produce 500, 200, 300 and in total it is 1,000. So what you will do? Really simple, we all know sir. We have to first calculate average unit cost. So total joint cost divided by the total number of units at the split off. So these are the total number of units at the split off. Okay, and this is the total joint cost. So it's really simple, 60,000 divided by 1,000 that is equal to 60 okay so 60 will be the average cost per unit now this 60 you will use and multiply with each of the units so see let me just show you 500 into 60 that is equal to 30,000 so the cost that has been allocated the joint cost that has been allocated to the product a is 30,000 okay can you see that properly 30,000 and then for B how much 60 average cost per unit into 200 that's equal to 12,000 so 12,000 is the joint cost that has been apportioned has been distributed to the product P and then for C how much 60 into how many units 300 so that's equal to 18,000 is the joint cost that has been apportioned to product C this is what you have to do but now you have to present this properly and how will you present this really simple it's not difficult see here average cost per unit yeah, total joint cost, you are a unit produced, you got the, you know, cost per unit. And then at this, you will apportion because this is the basis. Now, see here on the basis of joint cost is apportioned on the basis of average cost per unit. What does that mean? It means simply you are going to take the units of the products, multiply them with the cost per unit. You see here 60, 60, 60. It is uniform. Application of the method is that all joint products, all joint products will have uniform cost per unit, same cost per unit. Okay, so just multiply and you will get the value, the cost that has been apportioned to each of the products. In in total, it would be 60,000. Is that clear? Easy. Fine. So I think you have got this. It's a really simple method. It's nothing actually. Okay, so that's it for this video. I think you have got this. See you in the next video. Bye.